Welcome to another Sir James D Tech video. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the OCZ Vertex 3 120 gigabyte SATA 3 solid state drive. All right, so as usual, I'll just give you a quick peek at the box. You can see that, yes, this is SATA 3, six gigabit per second. And remember that's gigabit, not gigabyte. Obviously, they do that just to confuse you. <laughs> now, you may notice that there's not as much light going on in here. And that is because I just got back from an eye doctor appointment. And not only do I look extremely stoned right now, but I'm tremendously sensitive to light. So, bear with me on this video. I'm unable to focus really close as well so <laughs> all right now here's something that companies have been doing lately which is very much appreciated by consumers that don't have a prime time case is they've been creating these two and a half inch to three and a half inch adapter brackets so pretty much all you have to do is screw in the solid state drive and then slip this into any available hard drive bay and you're ready to rock and roll Although with solid state drives nowadays, you almost just need, you know, double sided tape and you can stick it anywhere because there's no moving parts. And then I still can't figure out if this is for the Z drive or what. The My solid state drive is faster than your hard drive. Mm. Or OCZ just, just claiming the letter Z or what. But you can pretty much say that about any solid state drive. And then here's the installation guide and warranty info, which, okay, you just install the solid state drive. That's about all there is to the guide. And they send along a packet of screws, which is very nice in case you don't have any laying around. And then here's the actual drive itself. You can see it's very high quality looking once again. OCZ is absolutely primo at that. Eh, no jumpers. No. Now in the Addo benchmark, this drive supposedly gets up to 550 megabytes per second of sequential access for read and 500 megabytes per second of sequential access for write. And there's a couple other numbers in there which are pretty eye-popping. So me doing my due diligence, I will put those numbers to the test myself. I'm gonna put this 120 gigabyte Vertex 3 up against the two Vertex 2 solid state drives in RAID 0 that I have, and which this is going to replace, and benchmarks that will be run are, as I mentioned, ADO, ASSSD, in which I test not only megabytes per second, but also the IOPS, Crystal Disk Mark, the ADA64, which used to be Everest, that read test suite I'm gonna benchmark. And then for some real world performance measurement, what I'm gonna do is use a program called TerraCopy, and I'm gonna take about six gigabytes worth of files, pictures, movies, music, all different file sizes. And I'm gonna copy them over from one folder on the C drive over to another folder on the C drive so that we'll kind of get away from these synthetic benchmarks and be able to see what this baby will actually be able to do for you on a day to day basis.
So as you can see from those performance results, the OCZ Vertex 3 120 gigabyte is roughly on par with two OCZ Vertex 2 SATA 2 60 gigabyte solid state drives in RAID 0. Now what I'd like to mention, and some of you remember the video in which I put this 6 gigabit per second backplane on the 800D so the hot swap bays are ready for SATA 3. What I'd like to point out is that, and this is something I will admit to, because I had never had a SATA 3 solid state drive. So initially when I plugged the thing in, I had left the SATA 2 cables from the hot swap going into the motherboard and I was wondering why are these performance results so off? I mean they were just horrible. And so you know going through drivers everything else lo and behold it was the most obvious thing <laughs> with the cables. So then I switched them out and turns out one of the cables was bad on the SATA 3. So I switched them again and finally got those performance results which you saw. Now another thing you should mention is and check with your board manufacturer specs but for the Maximus 4 these two red ones here these are controlled by the P67 so those are Intel and these are controlled by Marvel and the Marvel controlled SATA 3 ports are just they're don't even waste your time on them okay it's a waste of your solid state drive resources they're not as fast and I'm not even going to put the performance results up because it's that ridiculous so by all means use your Intel P67 control SATA 6 gigabit per second ports so that'll just about do it for this video I thank you very much for watching and right around the corner I've got some DDR3 1600 memory and also another case review so that'll be coming up as well on Sir James D Tech. And remember to submit some questions for me for on the Sir James D DJ channel. I'll be doing another volume of Getting to Know Me. Talk.